Alright, what is up YouTube? Fitz here back again with another video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the 2K news. Now, I'm going to be behind on some of this news. I'm going to be doing this for the rest of 2K20 until 2K21 comes out. I'm going to be providing you guys with all the news, everything that's going to be updated. And I'm also going to be incorporating face cam videos so once 2K21 comes out, we can go right into it with the face cam videos. I want you guys to have a little connection with me, I guess. We're coming up on 40K and that brings me to tell you guys to make sure you guys go follow my Twitter. This Twitter is dead i got like locked out of my old twitter that had over 2,000 followers so i made this new twitter we have 240 followers right now make sure you guys go follow that twitter it's in the description below and uh yeah go ahead and do that so like i said you know we're a little behind on the news simply because i was on vacation i was at the beach you know i had a couple things lined up for you guys and uh you know i had those videos lined up we upload those videos and now we're onto this so you know we are on to the 2k news and i got some stuff to tell you guys so first things first um i got a couple things that ronnie's gonna say and also some things that some developers are gonna say we're gonna start off with ronnie i'm kind of gonna pretty much just elaborate on what he says so uh first things first we're gonna start off with ronnie let's see what he had to say jelly uh free next gen upgrade well instead actually you're getting both games so like we're the only game that is actually building from the ground up uh, as far as I know, maybe there's other ones, but we're building completely a different game. But on next gen, or really if you get Kobe period, you're getting the game, you're getting two games really. So you can look at it that way. When you get 2K21 uh, on next gen, you can play the old one because it's backwards compatible, right? And you can play the new one. I mean, it's true. You get two games. That's been like the low key kind of thing that's not being realized like you can play it on current you can also play current game on next gen and then of course you can play next gen on next gen all right so the first thing is a little confusing uh based on how he worded it so pretty much what he's saying is that you could play next gen on old gen and you but you can't play old gen on uh next gen which makes sense i mean the game is going to be totally different than it was uh this year in comparison to next year i have high hopes for 2k21 for next gen and i will be bringing you guys a lot of content with that but Pretty much what he's saying is current gen is just going to be like a a plain old 2k21 it's not going to have anything super elaborate it's not going to be anything super crazy um but the next gen is where you know you're going to be able to go back and play like you were playing on current gen um however you're still going to have those next gen features so the way he explained it i know was a little bit uh you know confusing but that's pretty much what he's trying to say is that you know you're going to be able to go back and play the current gen features as well as the next gen features if you go and play uh pay for that next gen uh, price and, and, and play for the next gen features. Why is Zion $70? Because it is. I, what what are you asking me? Are you going to buy Zion? I would assume that most people in here are going to buy um, Kobe, right? Jell, it's because we built the game from ground up. Imagine it's the next gen way. All right, so Ronnie seemed a little aggravated there by that question. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure what he's saying is, so if you go, you see I'm on the website here uh, for NBA 2K where you can pre-order. By the way, if you guys want a chance to win this um, this summer, like when, when 2K21 is about to come out, I'm going to be giving away three copies of 2K21 to anyone uh, who enters in the giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel with post notifications on, like the video and comment down below. Let me know what console you're on so we can go ahead and buy one for you. Uh, anyways though, so pretty much what you're gonna see here is we have the standard edition uh, for the current gen, it is $60, but when you go over to next gen here, the standard edition is $70. That's why they were asking why Zion Williamson is $70 when it's literally just the PS5 or Xbox Series X. And the reason he said, like, he has some attitude with that, what I think is that the staple price for games um, across next gen is going to be $70 just because of the high performance of the console, which if you ask me, PC gaming has been so far ahead of console gaming. It still strides farther than the PS5 and Xbox Series X will ever be. I mean, PC is just on a whole nother level and they don't even charge $60. So I'm really confused on why uh, consoles are deciding to make games $70. Maybe it's just a wide range. Like it's gonna obviously affect the PC prices as well. Um, but that's not really a big deal. Like I was saying though, uh, the reason he was asking why it was $70 is because the next gen price, the starting price is going to be $70. Uh, and the current gen, as you see, is $60. So that's pretty much what he was saying there. I just want to clear that up for anyone who was wondering, and uh, let's get into the next video. Best known for 2K Sports series of games, including NBA 2K. Um, this, is, this is obviously what I'm sure everyone would be very interested in. We are currently hard at work on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, um, and we will have a day one launch title. Um, for those machines. Um, 
we have a very long history of console game development and pushing the envelope and we're going right down to the metal to get to squeeze every cycle and every bit and every pixel um, rendering capability out of the machines to make the best game that we can in each new hardware generation. So um, for many for many generations, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, this new one, um, we we um, we get the hardware very very early from Sony and Microsoft, um, especially with a game as big as NBA 2K. They get us the hardware way early, so we've been working on it for a long time. We are very very excited um, about what it's going to um, what it lets us do, both visually um, as well as creatively. And I think everybody is really going to be blown away. I cannot believe what I have seen. Um, and um, I will come out and tell you, we believe that we are the only developer that is making um, uh, a game exclusively for the next um, for the next generation systems. Um, we've heard that other most other of the top franchises are upresing textures uh, and upresing resolution and LOD. We have our team and our entire team, um, the NBA team, dedicated to um, the specifically the next generation version. All right. So the best way I could explain what just happened. So pretty much a developer came up. You know, the head of, of whatever. He was some co-founder. Um, he said why you know th this game is going to be a totally different game so the best way i could explain this for you guys that may have not been in the 2k community for a while i've been in the 2k community for a long time uh 2k 13 was or 2k 11 i used to play uh was my first ever 2k 2k 11 so i've been around for a little bit and uh pretty much the best way i could explain this is it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing that happened with 2k 14. so your standard edition here uh 60 game it's going to be on xbox one or ps4 that game is going to be a totally different game than it was than it's going to be on next gen meaning that it's going to be the worst version of 2k21 on that which makes sense because you know it is next gen uh but pretty much i'm going to show you here on nba 2k14 we have the uh the black top so at this time there was no park in 2k uh park was introduced in 2k14 this year so pretty much um i feel like it's going to be something like this for 2k21 you see here we have uh you know the 2k14 black top now, now pretty much what this is is it is the black top in uh nba 2k20 right now you know you can pick whatever nba player you want and you can play against your friends you guys see that they got a little game going here it's pretty much all it is now that was on ps3 and xbox 360 now if you went ahead and bought the xbox one or the ps4 you got to play in the nba 2k14 it was called the park and pretty much what it was you see in the pictures over here you see all this stuff right here i tried to this is probably the highest quality picture i could find right here this is what um, you know, a lot of people were were moving to next gen four because it was a totally different experience on the next gen and it was a lot better of an experience. Obviously there was a kinks and stuff to it and like you know there was tons of issues with it. However, it was a very, very huge upgrade uh overall to the 2k scene and it's pretty much what changed 2k forever and uh that's pretty much what i think is going to happen with with uh 2k21 this could be the year that 2k21 just takes a major leap into something different and uh you know we'll see where it goes with that but i'm really excited to see where uh next gen is going to be taking things because i'm getting those 2k14 vibes again and you know i think i think that's going to happen again with uh next gen for xbox uh one x or ps5 whatever your preference is specifically the next generation version so that's going to be pretty exciting it's going to be features and if you looked at a couple of videos that i've seen that i showed you including the outdoor there's there's a there's a there's going to be um a lot of really amazing new content all right so he pretty much just said that there's going to be some amazing new content and he called the it the outdoors so it's not going to be called the neighborhood anymore it's not going to be called the park it's going to be called the outdoors so what that means i have no idea i can't tell you guys any of that i'm not going to go ahead and try to act like i know what i'm talking about in that aspect because no one knows no one knows exactly what the outdoors is let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think the outdoors are 
um, you know they haven't released enough information yet to really tease at that so I can't really speak on that yet but that has been the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna be bringing these types of videos for the rest of 2k20 just so we could get right into 2k21 and make sure you guys hit that sub button and turn on post notifications we are almost at 40k and if you guys want to become really good at 2k I give you guys the best tips and tricks I give you guys the glitches the bad glitches the VC glitches give you guys the best jump shots best dribble moves all those types of things best builds that's pretty much what my channel is around i'm trying to bring you guys the best tips and tricks around in the 2k community so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and like the video also like i said in the beginning follow the twitter because i'm going to be reacting with you guys on there i like to you know talk to you guys in dms on the twitter as long as you guys aren't bugging me for like face masks and stuff but uh i hope you guys enjoy the video make sure you have a like down below subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm fitzu and i'll see you next time I get the red, I get the red, I get the beans. Give me the money, ain't fuck with nobody, I'm signing the slip. Give me the check, give me the check, I'm running the clip. Ain't see me no more, cause I'm bumping a burger.